We had planned to go to Mayaro to try and improve our fishing skills and then come back to Manzanilla for lunch at Bodo's. We never imagined that lunch would have a secret ingredient. There's something liberating about driving alongside Manzanilla Beach in Trinidad. The two of us are retired, so we're able to go on weekdays and seek to enjoy our retirement. Most people stop and fish at the mouth of the Nariva River, but I wanted to try a different location and so bypass this popular fishing location. So on we drove with a short stop to admire the vista of the ocean and the coconut trees. Although there is saga some seaweed lying in parts of the shoreline, Manzanella Beach still gives a picturesque view. I must admit that when the rock embankment had been created, I thought that the beauty of the beach would be removed. However, I now recognize that the rocks have held back the encroachment of the sea without affecting the ability of Trinidadians to enjoy this unique part of Trinidad. I wanted to try fishing in the Ottawa River. After all, this is the longest river in Trinidad with a good inflow from the sea, so it must have fish. I also chose the Ottawa River because you can park close to the river and there are shade trees that you can retreat to while your fishing line is in the river. One of the other reasons for this trip was to allow me to test a new head mount for one of my cameras so that I could operate the fishing rod and other items and still record at the same time. The head mount proved to be very comfortable as I wore it for several hours. I've placed a link in the video description for the specific camera head mount. One of the nice things about Trinidad is that you meet so many interesting people. We met Jason and his lady friend that day and they caught all the fish. What is your news for him? Oh. Yeah, boy, yes, okay. <laughs> Wait, so you're using what, crab leg? No, no, I'm going to try this whole crab. Uh -huh. I'll use mullet. All oh, right, 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 that you catch with the, with the cast line. Yeah. All right. Because, like, mullet is more used in the river here. Yeah, oh. Oh, oh. what? Right. And it's snook again. Yeah. All right. Looking good, man. Looking good. Mm -hmm. 
Bordeaux is truly a rustic eating place with a view of the Nariva River and the Atlantic Ocean. The menu is centered around fish roasted on a metal plate with a wood fire. For hygienic reasons, the fish is wrapped in aluminum foil for the roasting. You gonna roast your phone? I ain't roasting the phone, you mad? We're taking the place while And one thing, boy. Ample supply of wood to feed the fire. This is a real roadside eatery. You just pull off the road and place your order. When we ordered, we were told today's menu was roasted salmon, green salad, yam potato mash, and Crick's biscuit. The mention of Crick's had me confused, so I waited to see what was coming. Yeah, I, we good. The lady, the lady put the fish. I agree with you. I, I agree with you. Yeah, Mr. Bodo. The master. That is the master. I invented the best of them too. I like that. All right. Vital surprise. Yeah, man. That why you have it. It goes at everything. It's actually into the bone. Is there any cricks on the menu? Yeah. Yeah. And show people we had good company. Oh yes. Yes, man. Watch, 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 watch. From Rio, from Rio, from Rio. From Rio, Claro, via New York. From Rio, via New York. Yes, man. I'll show them that. I really can't believe. The lady really tell me crisps. How did the addition of the crisps biscuit taste? Wonderful. It actually added to the taste of the meal. The crisps with the mash yam had a lovely, unique flavor. When next you're in Manzanilla, consider Bodo's. You never know what the secret ingredient on the menu might be. If you want to find other outdoor eating places in Trinidad, I have placed a link in the video description.